Welcome back, ladies and gentle ladies. So, you got the division, and you finally hit level 30, the granddaddy 3 -o. Delta, get, get out of here, Delta. Nobody cares you're playing Black Ops. Anyway, guys, so, you finally hit level 30, and now you're wondering, what the hell do I do to get gear? They nerfed the Dark Zone, they nerfed Phoenix credits, gear drops have been nerfed, what the, what the hell? What? Well, I'm here to help you guys out. You hit 30, and then you find out that the, the main missions of the game are actually repeatable. You can do them again and again, and get some pretty nice rewards. Let's take a quick look at them. You've got your standard missions, for example, the Napalm Production Site. You can see Replay Mission, press G and hold it, and you can replay the mission on normal difficulty. But, if you press and hold, it'll actually bring up a new menu, normal difficulty, and hard difficulty. Now, as you can see, the mission rewards are pretty standard, 11,000 credits and one equipment item. That doesn't sound too amazing for a tougher enemy, but the better rewards, it's just a blue equipment item? Nah, that's garbage. When you hit 30, you'll notice that you unlock daily missions. So, if we take a look at one of these new missions with the little arrows next to it, that's how you know it's got a daily bonus reward on it. Let's take a look at the Broadway Emporium. Press and hold the G key, and it'll show you the hard daily. This time, it gives you 15 Phoenix credits. And, it gives you crafting materials, 11,000 credits, and one equipment item. Awesome. But, there's another one as well. If you go ahead and take a look at the, let's see if I can find one here. I believe it's Lexington Center. Lexington Event Center. If you press and hold G here, you've got another version. Challenging difficulty. Now, this one gives you 30 Phoenix credits, 19,000 credits, and a yellow gear item. So this is what you're going to want to do if you're going to be a PvE-centric player. If you want to PvE mainly, you're going to want to run challenge missions. And the first time you run a challenge mission every day, you actually get a bonus 20 Phoenix credits. And you also get some bonus crafting materials as well. But after you've done it the first time of the day, the reward goes down to just 30 Phoenix credits and the one yellow gear piece. Now, you might be asking me, well, Trans, I've tried the hard, and I've tried the challenging. They're really hard, and they're really challenging. What do I do then? Well, actually, if you've worked on your base, which I highly recommend, if you're a brand new 30 and you haven't fully um, kitted up your base of operations, by that I mean get all of your wings, medical, tech, and security to 100% operational, do that immediately. You want those guys at 100% across the board. The perks are awesome, and the things you unlock in the base are awesome as well. Let's take a quick look. Usually, you have a weapons vendor, a gear vendor, and a mods vendor over here. I would definitely highly, highly recommend checking these out once you hit 30. If you take a look and scroll all the way down, you can see they sell some pretty good blues and uh, purples for level 30. 82,000 base DPS. Granted, I have quite a bit of firearm skill, so that is augmented because of that. But if you're a fresh 30, check out all the vendors. Check out the blues and the purples they will have to sell. The level 30s will be a guaranteed upgrade from whatever items you've picked up off of the ground or off of enemies while leveling up. As you can see, level 30 rapid assault gloves, 433 electronics, LMG bonus damage, pistol damage, critical hit damage, and seeker mind damage. That is an awesome pair of gloves for any brand new level 30. Throw those on, buy an LMG from the weapons vendor, and suddenly your DPS has doubled, maybe even tripled from being a fresh 30. This will enable you to do the hard missions very, very easily. And if you also have unlocked all of the tech wings like I'm hoping you have, you can actually go ahead... Kitty, I'm busy right now. You can actually go ahead and check out the special gear vendor up here, who'll sell some Phoenix credits items. You'll of course have to run some hard modes to unlock this, uh, not unlock this vendor, but to be able to purchase things from him, so maybe we'll wait on that. Let's check out the security wing. If you fully upgraded the security wing, you're going to be able to check out the advanced weaponry vendor. Now this guy sells items for just credits, simple credits, and he actually sells yellow items, so you can check out the Pacan LMG, I believe that's an RPK, and then you can also check out the Cassidy, which is a double barrel shotgun. Both guns are awesome and are phenomenal for brand new players, and if you can't afford them, no big deal, check out this thing, an LMG with 8,000 damage on it, a tactical M1911 with 11,200 damage on it. For a brand new 30, these are awesome items. Then you can also check out the extended magazine and the compensator to improve your DPS even further. 
highly recommend checking out the vendors. Most people just ignore the vendors when they hit level 30, but the base vendors are actually really, really good for kickstarting your DPS and your stats so you can get on in the dark zone and in the hard and challenged versions of the missions. And also, don't forget, you can actually visit all the other safe houses as well. If the main base of operations doesn't have gear you really want, go ahead and fast travel to a couple of the other safe houses you've unlocked and check out their vendors. Usually those guys will also have purple items at the bottom of their list, and they're very, very cheap. Usually you want to accrue, you will have accrued about 100 to 300k credits by the time you're fully leveled up, which gives you plenty of money to buy items, re uh, recalibrate items, all of that fun jazz. Now, the last thing you probably want to do as a fresh 30 is go into the dark zone, but if you really do have a, uh, if you have a full group of people, four people, go ahead, pick up some of the purple items from these vendors, hop in DZ1 and 2, and just start killing some mobs. DZ3 is level 31, so it's a bit more challenging, but if you can go in and do it, go for it. The purples drop off of bosses all the time, and if you can get a Dark Zone key on your hands, go ahead and open up one of those crates, two guaranteed purples, you'll be all set. You gear out really fast. Also, one very last thing before I forget, you can actually get item level 31 weapon drops from the hard and challenge missions in the game. Those are not only locked away in the dark zone. I don't know if this is intended or it's accidental, but I have been in multiple groups where when we've been running hard missions or even challenge missions, somebody gets like a level 31, uh, whatever gun, like a 31 yellow gun. And it's actually a very good yellow gun. I don't really know how to say it, but I think it's the Cassadius, uh, Cacadius, Cassadius, however you pronounce it, I don't know. I've seen two of those drop in hard missions, which is insane. That hard missions are fairly easy if you can pick up the purples from the vendors. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the dark zone, yelling friendly.